Hello, I'm Chief Meteorologist Bruce Thomas of KCEN-TV. We'd like to welcome you to our coverage of the tornadoes of May 27th, 1997. In the next two hours, we'll take you through a series of events, starting with the first tornado touchdown outside the city of Hewitt and progress all the way through the city of Gerald down in Williamson County. We'd like to thank you for making a donation to the Tornado Relief Fund, and also we'd like to thank Sam's Club of Bell Mead and Vaughn Duplication Service for providing the duplicating of this tape with the free tapes provided by SAMS. Now KCEN's support team has been very good at helping put this together. We'd like to thank all of our production staff and technical staff that's worked very hard to get this information out to you. So I hope over the next two hours you'll enjoy our coverage of the I-35 tornadoes. Now we'll get started with the first tornado that occurred outside the city of Hewitt. The initial tornado warning came at 121 from the National Weather Service in Fort Worth via a storm spotter, Lon Curtis, who was following the severe thunderstorm out of McLennan County. We'll go to our video coverage of when the initial tornado hit the ground here at the I-35 Broadcast Center using our sky cam from the roof of our station. Here we go with that video now. Large area, tornado, right over Interstate 35 as it looks like now. Coming out of Hewitt, right there. Moving out towards Interstate 35, so from Hewitt to Lorena and eventually over towards Robinson and then moving on over towards Highway 77 is the path of this storm. So you can see here's Robinson, here's Hewitt, Interstate 35. Tornado going to move right across 35 just north of Lorena and then head on down into southeastern McLennan County. Let's go back to Skycam, see if this thing's holding together. It's still a tornado. There it is right there on Skycam. You can see how hazy it is out this afternoon. There's a lot of humidity out there. You can see right here the tornado will continue to move down towards the southeast. Persons in Hewitt, Robinson, and Lorena take cover. This is a big tornado. It's a large tornado. You can see right there Skycam detecting this tornado as it's moving towards the southeast at 15 miles an hour and it's definitely picking up a lot of debris causing a lot of damage. Persons in the path of this storm should take cover immediately. Now as we come back to the coverage of the tornado, the National Weather Service second tornado warning was issued as of 126, just five minutes later for the city of Lorena. The tornado was actually located uh, just about three miles west of Lorena on the ground moving towards the southeast. The initial movement of the storm was southeastward, so that would put the storm right here moving towards the Bruceville Eddy area. And that's where we are here at the I-35 Broadcast Center. We're at extreme western Falls County, right here along the interstate. The tornado was moving directly towards our station at that time. And here's some of the video that we were able to take with our sky cam. If you're in a mobile home right now in western Falls County, you need to get out right now and find a more substantial structure. This is a serious situation. We've had several tornadoes. Uh, on the ground earlier and it's real hard to see but maybe a tornado trying to come down there it's um, hard to detect because of the darkness of the clouds but a tornado warning is currently under effect till 2 o'clock for southern McLennan County and now until 2.15 for persons in western Falls County there it is there it is right there that's it they can see a little bit better outside with the naked eye you know, if we open that one back door there and roll that camera that way, open that door right there and take the camera out there, we can get a direct shot of it. We, we lost power, we're back on now. Here it is, tornado on the ground. We're looking due west of Eddy. So this is coming out of McLennan County, directly into Falls County. There's a tornado right there on the ground, and it's moving on the ground, on the ground right outside the station here. Let's take one of the big cameras and point it out there. And tell everybody inside here that, uh, head to those cinder block bathrooms inside. Here's the actual tornado and it's moving south so this is going to carry it towards the Troy area. So persons in Troy expect this tornado to be moving in your direction. Now it's crossing from McLennan County into Bell County and eventually into Falls County as it looks now. But you can see it, it's on the ground and it's moving slowly towards the southeast but it's the real thing. Tornado warning now in effect still for southern McLennan County till 2 o'clock. And a tornado warning has now been issued by the National Weather Service for Bell County. Persons in Troy, Temple, and Pendleton should take cover immediately. A tornado is now moving out of McLennan County, moving into Bell County. 
The tornado never moved into Falls County. It moved just to the west of Falls County, heading south. Now at this time, large and damaging hail began to fall here at our I-35 broadcast center. Here's the video now. Now it's just west of Eddy, just west of Interstate 35, and it's moving almost due south. So persons in Troy, if you live between Eddy and Troy, take cover immediately. If you're in a mobile home, get out. Find a safe place. If you don't find a safe place and the tornado is right at your house, the best thing to do is go ahead and find a ditch and lie flat in a ditch and let this thing pass. Most people are killed. Look at the debris circling around this tornado. Look at it. Man, it's a big one. Huge tornado. It's very close to the station. It's within a mile of us, I believe. You can see there's some houses here. It's on the ground moving out of McLennan County. Can we go to radar here just for a minute and see what the latest radar picture shows us? Okay, here it is crossing right now, right on the Falls, McLennan, and Bell County line. There's the tornado right there. It's going to cross right in here. It's heading south. It may actually come on into Temple, but it's going to head to Troy first. Let's go back to the live sky cam now. Look at this thing. Massive tornado. Here's Temple, Troy, and Pendleton. Here's the area that will be inducing the tornado. Here's the large hail shaft. All this moving south. It's getting a little hard to talk right now because the hail's hitting so hard here in the building, but we're here in Eddy. Actually, our studio is right here, moving south, and continuing to move towards Temple. If you're in Temple, if you've got a place you can put your car, protect it from this large hail. All right, let's go to this, let's go to camera two. Let's go to camera two. Here's what's going on outside on the weather deck right now. That is a hailstorm. Somebody roll tape on this in the back, please. We got tape rolling, good. Look at these hailstones. Baseball size hail, we're all getting new cars out here. I better call my insurance agent. We have some exclusive home video shot by Sandy Silva. He was five miles southeast of Moody taking this video we're about to show you. I think you'll enjoy it very much. The sirens in town are going off. The sirens in town just started going off. And I'll be back in a minute. Debbie! 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 Come here! It's headed right there, right this way. We're gonna go that way. Come on. Would you come on? It's headed right at us. We cannot get out of here. Get over here. Get inside, Duke. Come on, Duke. Come on. Get inside.
It's gonna hit us. Power gone. There went the power lines. There went some more power lines. You can feel the wind start to kick up here. You can start to hear it now. It's getting stronger and it's moving faster. I'm going around to the front. Swipe us, but I think we'd be it, it's already knocked out power lines or power, power out here. Prissy, get inside. Prissy, come here. Come here. Look at the debris flying all around it. There goes trees. Look at the top. right over the hill. I'm going to go out to my truck and get to... my phone so I can... just in case. Look at it. I went to go get the phone, because if we lose power, that one ain't gonna work. She said she's gonna get her oil changed, and I don't know where she's gonna get it changed at. She should have her portable phone on. Does she not? Okay. Okay, well, just calm down, Barbie, and, and, well, I told Mother there's a big storm coming up. Never dreamed of this. Okay, bye. My phone's dead. No, it's not. What was that beep? I hit the wrong button. Oh. I don't think it's going to hit us, Grandma. No, it's not going to hit us. Boy, you ain't kidding. This one started out little. And then... Oh, that's a monster. Uh-oh. It's getting real close now. I feel sorry for anybody in the way of this thing. Mom's there. What? You better keep it there. Because it's uh, It's not far. It's not far. It's we got grandma. We've got grandma got taken grandma care of. Oh, got blankets and pillows and everything. Uh, <laughs> kicking up. Look.
It just hit. That's a house. It just leveled that house. If it doesn't dissipate. Hey, here comes the debris, look. Good, the debris is already falling here. Okay, bye. Mm. Mom just got there. First. Okay. Oh my. Looky, looky. Oh. <sighs> so am I. Hello? Yeah. I already get high? Look at that base. That thing switches on us. We're stupid for standing out here. No, it's it's about five miles away, or at least it looks five miles away. Oh man, look at that! The most devastating, devastating sight to man. Hello? Who are you talking to? Nobody. Ain't nobody answered yet. There it goes. It's going back. No, it ain't either. Ripping up trees, everything. There goes some more trees. Here comes the rain. Oh, gotta get some dry weather. <laughs> Here. Oh man, looky. Right there between. Oh, here comes the debris. Lots of leaves. Can go up the garage door? Yeah. No, it's past the water towers. I can't see on the other side of the towers no more. It's far enough away. It's going back up. No, it ain't. You can't see it in between there, but on the ground it's still going. See it? See all these leaves and stuff coming in? There it goes. Right there, See it right there? Oh. Let's see if I can zoom in. Oh, oh look at that thing. Not very far off. No. no. Not even a mile off. It hit a house. It's gone. No, it ain't. Yeah, it's almost gone. Yeah, no, it ain't. It's still ground level. Let's go ahead and sit on the couch there, Mom. Yeah, it's far enough. It's 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 still coming. Woo, look at that. Charlie's at Barbie's. It's gone. Yeah. That goes part of that house. Gone. See it? The tin and the stuff off the house. Look. It's gone. It is now 2.15 in the afternoon of May 27th. The tornado has moved out of McLennan County and into Bell County. Storm now moving towards the south at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. The National Weather Service storm spotters in Bell County are now locating the storm along Highway 317 and Sutherland Road at 2.15. If you live in Moffat or Morgans Point Resort, take cover immediately. This video given to us by Beverly Teague from Morgans Point is of the tornado as it hits the marina and moves across the lake. That's the actual tornado coming down to Lake Belton, Morgan's Point, Moffett. If you're in that area around Lake Belton, definitely take cover immediately. This thing's on the ground, still being reported by spotters and by radar. So it's a serious situation. So it looks like that may pass just off towards the west of Temple. We may be fortunate of that, but persons around Lake Belton, you need to take cover immediately. 
It is now 2.30 in the afternoon on May 27th. The tornado has moved out of McLennan County into Bell County and now bearing down on Morgan's Point and Moffett. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning for that area, and now the tornado is progressing on to the south on past Morgan's Point. Now the damage left in its path was incredible and this video we're about to show you came from Sheriff Dan Smith's office of the damage to Morgan's Point Marina. This was shot two days after the tornado hit but it, the damage is incredible to the boats that were in the marina. It's now just after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. The tornado is progressing towards the south. It has lifted momentarily as it goes over the Belton High School and Expressway 190. Progressing towards the south now at 10 to 15 miles an hour, a new tornado is formed and coming down over the Stillhouse Hollow Reservoir. David and Ann Frederick, along with their dogs, Peanut and Katie, are out looking at the storm and furnish us with this home video. Definitely uh, some problems this afternoon, and we're going to have a lot of, hopefully, no fatalities, but there's a lot of injuries, I would think, from as much destruction as we see. very close. You see the tight rotation right here, right over Salado, the latest frame right there, oranges and greens right together, coming into Williamson County, and the radar sight's right here, looking right into the storm. It's still coming on down into Williamson County. Okay, let's, uh, let's zoom it out a little bit. And let's go back Hale. up to Navarro County for just a minute <laughs> and take a look at that other storm. Let's go back in. Hale's definitely a tornado on this one. Just zooming on up. After this, reports are coming in from tornadoes in all directions around Salado. We talked to numerous people in Salado that were taking cover from the storm. As it continued to move towards the south, it just moved about a mile west of Salado, hitting the community of Prairie Dale, creating quite a bit of damage there, but still not a deadly tornado at this point. The storm continued to progress on towards the south. This home video shot by Don Swalinock, the Justice of the Peace from Holland, is very impressive as the transition of this storm goes from a small tornado into a monster killer tornado that will eventually hit Gerald. Yeah, Gerald or somewhere up here to shut it off. Woo, it's getting wider at the base now. Let me down some more. A whole lot wider at the base. Lower and lower. Look at the debris coming up around it. Wow, wow. 1403 County is coming right. Woo, down he's really stirring it up now. Uh, eastbound toward the interstate. It's at Granger and Kirkendall and heading wow. directly uh, toward the interstate. Goodness gracious. Is that towards Gerald? We got black, it's getting down. It's letting down again. Let this traffic go. It seems to have either hit it due north or something, but it stopped completely. 6591 Bell County, I'm going to need some uh, EMS. Uh, Look at that bend. Look at that bend in it. See it breaking back towards the horizon down? Wow, that sucker's dancing. Come on in. There's 
It is, it's rising up now. Look at the stuff coming around right now. Looking for a motor that possibly was caught in this storm. Woo, she's doing some damage there. Still like she's going south. Southeast. I'm like you, I believe it's getting closer. It is. Three, four, two, 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 two. Four, three, keep on coming down. It's still on the ground. Just southwest of Prairie Dale, but it's not moving east anymore. It's coming east, Don. I straighten back up now. It's generally heading to the south. I can see it moving along oh, yeah, the ground. Going Look at that tail on it now, how it's bent, Don. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Coming up. Watch it go up. Up she went. Up back into the clouds. Lord, help. Look at that thing. There it comes again. Okay, it's back. Going back down. Man, this is something else. Look at that wicker bell on it. Yeah, it'd be about uh, 279, I believe, is where the storm is. It's still touching the ground, Wayne, because I see debris. Yeah, I see debris, but it's not, it doesn't have that sharp tail on it, man. There, yeah, there, 2268. It's forming back, looks like, now. I guess that's just debris on the ground. Oh, look at it. It's still on the ground, Don. Look at that. Good. Raisins alive look on the ground. Yeah. Come on down to 280, Barry. I believe 280 is going to cross. That's another one. Huh? That's another one and a bigger one. Is that another one closer to us? Looks like it's just again, Don. What's on the ground? What's happening? Jim, does that turn Is it still moving to the south or is it coming east? It's moving east very slowly. You say it's moving east? It's just about to the No, that's a much bigger one. This this one is much bigger. Much closer. Now this 41D, this is an awesome tornado. It is heading, looks like, south to southeast. And it is big. That one is tearing hell out of the 